In this hands-on video, we take a look at the new music features in watchOS 4.1 Beta 1. WatchOS 4.1 Beta 1 ships with three essential features. Number one, LTE playback for music. That gives you both Wi-Fi and cellular access to the entire Apple Music library of 40 million songs. And that also means you gain access to all of the music in your iCloud Music library without needing to sync them to your Apple Watch. That is awesome. So let me show you what my library looks here. Now, some of these songs I have synced to my library, but most of them I have not. So I'm just gonna go into album and you can see that I have access to all of the music in my music library. And this includes all the music that I manually added myself. On the prior version of watchOS, you would actually have to sync these music tracks to your Apple Watch via Bluetooth and it took forever. Now you don't have to worry about which songs you're gonna add. You don't have to worry about storage space. It all just works. Now, what if you want to play back a song that isn't in your library? Well, just do this. Play Taylor Swift, Look What You Made Me Do. And now you can see it's playing back. Just like that. And of course, this works whether you're paired to your iPhone or whether you're just connected to Wi-Fi or cellular as well. And I noticed that it will even fail over to your cellular connection once you are away from your iPhone and the music will just continue playing. Just like that this. That's pretty awesome. But the revamped music app isn't the only new music related feature in watchOS 4.1 beta 1. There's also a new radio app as well for playing back radio stations like Beats 1. Now Apple states in its release notes that the radio app doesn't currently work with cellular connections on this current beta, but I was able to get it working with the cellular connection just fine. Um, so your mileage may vary in that regard if you're running the developer beta. But you can see here you have access to a whole bunch of different stations based on genres. And you even have access to things like NPR and ESPN. But also keep in mind that you can still sync music directly to your Apple Watch if you choose to do so. If you want complete offline access, you can do that just as well. It's safe to say that watchOS 4.1 Beta 1 is an exciting update for Apple Watch owners, especially Apple Watch Series 3 owners with LTE. What do you think about the update? Sound off down below in the comment section with your thoughts and opinions. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.